College Glen is an amazing neighborhood in the city of Sacramento. If you're thinking about buying into the neighborhood or selling out of the neighborhood, or you're just curious about real estate in the College Glen area, watch this video, I'll give you a great update. Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your College Glen neighborhood real estate specialist. Many of you know I've been living and specializing in College Glen for, gosh, almost 10 years now and just had the opportunity to work with a lot of buyers and sellers in the neighborhood. It's just a great neighborhood. Uh, raising my family here, just love the area and the location, the river, all the amenities and everything. And so this is my monthly update for College Glen. This is for June 2018. We're going to take a look at the sales that happened in May. Let's throw them up here. All right, May 2018. Pretty big month, we had 13 homes close escrow in the month of May. And as we've seen the last few months, you know, there's always a couple of fixers that sell. Uh, that one there closed for 240, uh, absolutely big time fixer there. And even the few first few there, 306, 311, those were definitely on needing work and on the, the lower side of there. And then we get into kind of the meat of the market there, so the 330, then we get 356, all the way, the highest close was 425 for the month of May, but you can see there the bulk of it's happening between about 360 to 406, 405. That's kind of where the meat of our market is right now. Um, that's where majority of the homes are selling and kind of where the buyers are at with it. If you're below 350 now, it's there's not a whole lot out there at 350 and below. Um, and it is, we're starting to regularly each month have closings above 400,000 now as well too, even starting to slowly even get close to the mid 400s on some of the bigger stuff that's got, you know, three bathrooms, four bed, three baths with pools and things like that. So, so summer's in full swing. We're here in the summer now and the amount of homes available has started to trickle up a little bit as would be expected this time of year. For a while there in the spring, we only had about four homes at any given time on the market. That is very low. Right now, we're up to about that seven, eight property range on the market available right now. That's good. We, uh, I think buyers are hoping to get more to closer to that 10 range. But because more homes have come on, they're still selling. They're selling very quickly and very regularly, but it's increased the sensitivity of the market. So there's a number of houses out there right now that have been on the market for a while because the seller just, they went way too high with their price. And the sensitivity with the market, even though it is a seller's market, it's a price sensitive seller's market. So there's a number of houses that are out there that the buyers kind of back that, whoa, I'm not gonna go for that. That seller is way too high there. I'm gonna let some other buyer go after that. That's just not for me, that house. and. So those are kind of sitting a little bit, but the ones that are come on that are priced right, they show well, they have good marketing from their agent, they have professional photography, good presentation and everything, those are still, as we've been seeing for months, they're selling at or above list price with multiple offers within a few days. So kind of more of the same. What I expect moving forward is still price sensitive seller's market. If it's priced right, shows well, it will be going quickly with multiple offers, but I expect kind of a little few more listings to be coming on. I know myself, I've got a few in the pipeline that I'm working on getting on the market pretty soon here. A couple, uh, one in a few weeks, one in about a month, and then another one in a few months from now. So there's more coming on the market. I would expect that to continue. So the sensitivity is gonna stay there through the summer that I expect because there's gonna be a few more houses on the market. So there's a few more for buyers to choose from and they have a willingness to kind of stay away from those overpriced ones. So if you're thinking about maybe I'm going to sell sometime this summer or something, feel free to reach out to me. You can get all my info at collegeglenrealestate.com. Love to just come by, check out the house, talk about the property, talk about the market, see how I can help you out. If you're trying to get into the neighborhood, feel free to give me a call. Um, a lot of times I know, I just mentioned I've got some listings coming up. I also hear about other listings that'll be coming on the market before they actually hit the market. So it can get a little bit of an inside edge there with me being in the neighborhood so much here. So hope you're having a great summer. I'll talk to you soon and clear skies.